here we are, Chrono Cross. This is my third attempt to beat this game that's never ending. So join me in my voice travesties. Let's go. What was the start of all this? When did the cogs of fate begin to turn? Perhaps it is impossible to grasp that answer now from deep within the flow of time. But for certainty, back then, we loved so many, yet hated so much. We hurt others and were hurt ourselves. Yet even then, we ran like the wind, whilst our laughter echoed under the cerulean skies. And here we are. I'm ready for the cheese that's about to be Chrono Cross. Let's enjoy it together, shall we? What is it, Sarachi? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi! Come on, Serge! Rosley! Just you wait, Lynx. Today is gonna be a day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> Sarachi! Okay, and with all those little fun moments, let us continue playing the game. I'm sad to say, Razzly may have been a sacrifice during this game, but it was all for the better good. So rest in peace, Razzly. <gasps> What's that crystal-like thing? Some kind of switch? Bugger. So close, and yet so far. You don't need to tell me that kid's voice is bad, I know. <laughs> I have it in my head that she's supposed to be Australian, but I actually researched it and Australian accents are like some of the hardest accents to do, like in the world. And we can see that I can't. One day, I'm going to work on an Australian accent just so I can redeem her and I'm going to make her sound bloody brilliant. My hubby told me to make her cockney, and I was laughing because I learned in Australia, like the Australian accent came about because cockney people moved to Australia and created that dialect. Never knew that. That was a fun fact. And zoom! Oi! What the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Wow, bugger. We're so high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some um, fort, eh, Serge? You all right, mate? You've been acting all weird. Well, we don't know what's up ahead. So just stay on your toes, eh? It's in this moment. I wish Kid did not like talking. Let's both enjoy this scene together. I'm gonna be quiet. I love that jaguar sound. Makes me think of the dogs from the room. Search. 
Good morning. Search. Come on, sleepyhead. Get up. Most memorable thing, this music. I love the music in Chrono Cross. It's so freaking great and addictive. Made the repetitive fighting not so bad because of the cool music. And on to our adventure. Look at the masks up on the top part. They're like owls. That would creep me out if I had that in my room. We get the mula. Accidentally did that. I remember the first time I played this game, I kept doing that. I did that like three or four times on accident. And I was like, what? Or trucker. Darkness, my old friend. Let us go forth to adventure. Good morning, Serge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see you if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Categories. This my house, and they're at own risk. There should always be a pet option. You used to cry and run away at the mere sight of a pussy cat. Do you remember? When you were about yay high, you were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. Emotional damage. But it's good that you've overcome that fear. Girls will think you're a weenie. Run away from cats. So long, Grandma. I think she called me a weenie. I'd rather be a weener than a loser. Blah ha ha ha. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly? Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you could say that everything here represents 10 years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, six-horned narwhals, you name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job, and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all. But lately, I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future. What if I'd chosen a different path 10 years ago? Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better. I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about a, another you that might have been. Boy, life sure is complex. Oh, Serge, you want this? Here, take it. It's a amulet I made from a lion shark tooth ten years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. And with that, shark teeth. Yay. Thanks, mister. Kitty. Kitty. You know what? I pretend like when I kick them, I'm petting them with my foot.
Those things are so freaking weird looking. They seriously look like what I think chihuahuas look like, which is a rat dog. Yeah! Good old Hecron bone. And an ivory helmet. Yeah, buddy! Why, hello, Serge. Do you want to hear the real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Serge? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent, make a name for myself with just a pencil and paper. But look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Just kidding. I was just kidding. I was saying how good the work environment. Mm. Tasty cha cha cha. Healthy cha cha cha. Why don't you try my Hecron soup? That's my specialty. Soup made exclusively from Hecron bone. Don't mean to brag, but nobody can make soup like I can. Cha ha ha ha. I'd like to work on trying to get a deeper voice. <laughs> Fish guy. Yo, Serge. Have you ever seen this size? Legendary. I think so too, I knew it. Really true, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money start pouring, varnish boat, Eat as much squid pasta as I want in Termina. Living the life. Who am I kidding? That wouldn't happen. But thanks anyway, Serge. I can dream a little, can't I? I kind of had to speed that one up. I have to note that sometimes I leave the fast forward on and it speeds up the talk. I could go back and re-record it, but F that. Hey, Sergi. Do you know what's popular among the village girls? Necklace made of Komodo dragons. But there's no way I can beat those monsters. But Kiki wants one. Oh no. I don't know what to do. Lolo is gonna beat me to it. Boy, am I in a fix. Well, what I got for you... Take this. But first, let me mess with you. No way, is that real? Can I have it pretty please? I won't ask for another thing. What? Huh? I don't got that. Low life numbskull nincompoot rinky dinky cheese ball noodle head. Just forget my girl. Really? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Here. Let me give you this. Put it to good use. Yeah. Stiff. And then he tells me about partial. Partial likes to eat hot ground bones. Then you can get partial. I think partial's OG. Ah! Is that a head ground bone? Sergey poop. A poop peasant? Fry? How did you know, huh? To accept or not to accept? Ahem. <coughs> me accept. Present. And me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your child. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Sergey Poo. And just like that, one of the most OGs. I think Poshul's definitely one of the most powerful. Yo, Sergey. I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in ya. That was real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows her who's boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit too quick to lash out. 
Could you like make her be a little nicer to me? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. You're late, Serge, sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. What? Who? Serge! Lena! Look at me! Come on, you guys should join us, it feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far. Now. Okay, gotcha. Kids sure have it easy. <sighs> Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. Ahem, <clears throat> but the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes. We have to face up to reality and live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you've collected some Komodo Dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you, Serge? I have no choice. Good. That's what I want to hear. Okay then, don't just stand around. Let's see, three should do. Good luck, Serge, I'm counting on you. Okay, you're gonna see that sometimes where I just speed things up. <sighs> oh, it's you, Serge. Beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off there. By the way, Serge, you like the sea? Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. But just remember, Serge, don't take it too lightly. Usually, you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you'll ever see, engulfing everything. Close your eyes and prick your ears. Can you hear the cries of the countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secret of the sea whispers. I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the sea. That's if you don't want to join the fellas already on the bottom. Away we go. Time to collect some Komodo scales. I love the color palette. So I learned something when I played this. Um, I like to get uh, money and stuff from fighting the enemies like constantly, like over and over again. And I did not know this until it happened to me, but you do not get to fight these guys anymore after you have gotten the Komodo um, scales and are to go and see Lena at the beach. Like, they're just all like, no, nope, you don't fight you no more. And I'm like, dang it. I wanted money. I'm not chasing you. 
So we're just going around getting all the chests we can get. It took me a while to figure out how to get that chest up there. I didn't notice the stairs that led up to it. That was a while back though. I, I knew how to get to it right away. There's actually still a chest in like the marshes. I, I don't know if it's taunting me or if there's actually a way to get to it. Oh. I'm looking forward to seeing all the stuffs again. This game's got so much to it. Oh, I'm just so excited, guys. I actually got stuck here. Um, that guy didn't move, and I had to restart the game. He wouldn't—he wouldn't move, and he wasn't aggroing. Stupid frog man. So one of my favorite things about this game are, like, the fights that happen. After fighting the last Komodo baby dragon, the mama dragon comes out. And every now and then I'm gonna show off some of the these fights. Like, just snippets of them, because I find some of them very interesting. So, if you see that, you just know. I, I was like, you gotta see this little bit. Bob. But now, onward to the beach to give her her freaking necklace. Let us be free from this. After we wait eons for this chest to float. There you are. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. Ashul, I didn't expect to see you here, so this is where you went off to. Yeah, Lynette here. How are you doing? Oh, are you two on a date? Sorry, me think we should leave you two alone. <laughs> Please, don't be silly. Pashu, Pashu! Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo dragon scales? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. And you too, Pashu. <laughs> no problem. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come here so often. <sighs> the sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It will probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without any change. Hey, Serge. Remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves, just like the two of us talking? Do you still remember that day? Really? You do? So you haven't forgotten the promise we made that day. <laughs> that makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there in wait, waiting for the right moment. 
Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own. When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make of this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, sir, there's been something I've been wanting to... Strong Surge. Surge? I thought the ocean was so impressive. Even though this is the remake, so it's a lot prettier now, but there are some things that are still pretty impressive. This whole scene was very epic. It's this scene. When I first saw this, I was like, I like the way Surge looks. Saying I was 14 when I played this. Doesn't that make him like three, four years older than me? Dangerous to sleep out here. You all right, boy? What on earth are you lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Lena, you were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Dirty poo, you're finally up. Dumping with whoosh, and me without cold too. Me woke up first, though me went to go walk around. But no sign of Lena anywhere. Do you think Lena? Find the thoroughly combusted. Me wonder if he okay. We gotta find Lena. It's important.